All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for ifitjams.com, and I'm sure you've heard of boiling thermostats to find out whether or not they work. In this case, I'm boiling two thermostats, a brand new one and a, and a one that's many years old and has a hole drilled in it, because I want to see whether or not they open at the same time. They're both 193, 195 degree thermostats. The new one on the left is a stant. The other one is some OEM, I'm not sure. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm having some overheating problems. I just did the water pump because it failed. It was leaking out the weep hole. And in doing so, uh, I decided to put my foiled thermostat back in afterwards. I hadn't bought a new one. The foiled thermostat being the one with the hole in it, which you do on these uh, Chrysler 2.2s if you think you have a problem. Because what happens, let me see if I can pick whatever that is out of there. What happens is the thermostat housing uh, needs to be top filled through the top. There's a little uh, vacuum transducer, you know, or maybe they call it a vacuum valve on the car in the manual. And you need to actually take that out and backfill the thermostat housing so it's not full of air, so the slug has something to sit in. Otherwise, the coolant will never circulate that high in the engine and the car will overheat, the thermostat will never open. The problem is if, you're, if you've got a head gasket leak or if you're leaking antifreeze such that after the car shuts down that air pocket redevelops, you would have to refill it every time or your car is going to just endlessly overheat. So when you're troubleshooting, it took me quite a while to find that head gasket leak some years ago because it was under the timing cover. Um, it's easier to just drill a little hole in the thermostat and you heat a, the car will warm up a little slower but you won't have that problem with air, an air pocket building up in the thermostat housing. Position the hole at the top so that the slug is always in water. But uh, that said, I'm not sure that the problem I'm having currently is actually a thermostat problem, even though every indication is that, that it could be. Um, the car overheats with either thermostat that I had tried in there, either the this old one or a lower temperature 180 degree thermostat and I think I see the new thermostat beginning to open now yeah and the older one is still pretty much shut yeah the new one is definitely opening up I hope that shows up well in the video and the older one is still shut the new one is I would say completely open at this point and the new one is still shut so let me turn off the heat actually which I just did and we'll see if it continues this way or if the old one will catch up so the final test that I that I did this morning is I drove the car with no thermostat because if you drive one of these Chrysler 2.2's with no thermostat in it it won't heat up even on the highway it won't get off cold unless you know the radiator is completely plugged up or the water pump has failed yeah the new one is completely open at this point I'm gonna I'm not sure my hand is so shaky that I'm not sure it'll be obvious if I get any camera angle here let me try my good hand which will make you laugh because my good hand is pretty shaky too but uh, so I yeah, that one is open. I don't know whether or not you can see it well. I'll try lifting it up for the camera. You can see that that's open. And the older one is closed. So I took the car out. I drove it around 50 miles this morning down to visit my folks and back. And with no thermostat, it never warmed up, which tells me that, you know, the water pump is certainly working and, it, the ra and nothing is majorly plugged up. And if the radiator is plugged up at all it's a partial plug up it's not complete so what that really leaves and there's nothing really to see with this one because it is completely closed what that really leaves is the uh, yeah I think you can see that that's closed entirely is that the uh, engine might be running hot for some reason which you know, the main reason would be too much friction or timing, but there's no issues with the oil. The oil is clean, not burning oil. Um, timing is a bit of a mess on this car for another reason that I won't get into in the video. But uh, 
uh, the other, otherwise, uh, you would have to blame this overheating on the thermostat not opening. And I believe that, that this thermostat, even, even though it has a hole in it, never was actually opening, or at least not until it was reaching overheating temperatures. So the thermostat that was suspect is still closed, and the new thermostat is still open, full open, even though the water is cooling, the uh, heat has been shut off. And I can accelerate closing that other thermostat just by pouring some cold water in here. And we'll do that just so you can see the difference, I guess. I'll come back around and grab this. Do, do, do. Because my fingers do not enjoy boiling water. And that is, in fact, pretty much full shut already. So, I'm Morris Rosenthal for ifitjams.com, and if you've never seen the thermostat boiling experiment before, I hope you found it as useful as I just did.